The Dark Knight trilogy is the best superhero trilogy ever made. Between Christian Bale as Batman, Heath Ledger as Joker, Tom Hardy as Bane, each film offers incredible talent. Putting that aside, Hans Zimmer's score is pure perfection, the cinematography shows a ton of effort, the practical and special effects are damn near flawless, and there's much to be said about the trilogy as a whole. I decided this week that I wanted to revisit the Dark Knight trilogy, and so of course I started with the first film. Batman Begins was always my least favorite of the three, and maybe that'll change once I rewatch The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises, but I don't think so. Those movies are just pretty hard to touch. But I do have to say that I have a new appreciation for Batman Begins. At the surface, there are definitely elements to appreciate in this film that are consistent with the rest of the trilogy. Again, just like the other two films, Batman Begins offers amazing cinematography, directing, acting, and so forth. But one thing that this film lacks that exists strongly in The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises is a strong villain. And please don't get me wrong, the villains in Batman Begins are compelling and probably more compelling than most other superhero movies, but they don't really compare to Joker or Bane and they're not even close. Ra's al Ghul and the League of Shadows as a whole are really just psychopaths who want to correct the world from scum by completely destroying cities instead of trying to fix them. And Ra's al Ghul uses Scarecrow as a pawn to wreck Gotham. And this storyline is interesting, but I don't think it adds the same value as the type of villain story told in the second and third films. So what did I appreciate about Batman Begins then? Why did I say that I enjoyed it more than I ever have after rewatching it? And that's because Batman Begins definitely adds something special that I really appreciated when rewatching it, and that's Bruce Wayne's character development. It's way better than I remember. Again, we get a lot of villain development in The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises, but in Batman Begins, we really get to learn and understand Bruce, probably more than you do in The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. The overarching theme that clouds around Bruce is the theme of self-improvement. Bruce struggles with understanding the true meaning of revenge, justice, and forgiveness. He quite literally doesn't understand those three words. Much of the first act is Bruce confusing revenge for justice. About revenge. Sometimes they're the same. No, they're never the same, Bruce. Justice is about harmony. Revenge is about you making yourself feel better. And I really like this. It makes sense. Because I think the Dark Knight trilogy prides itself on being as realistic and grounded as possible. So the fact that Bruce Wayne has these mental struggles makes sense given his upbringing. Bruce's parents were shot and killed in front of him at an age where, yeah, it would mess anybody up psychologically. And watching Bruce progressively push himself to correcting his moral through the help of others feels rewarding to watch. Wait. You could die. At least tell me your name. It's not who I am underneath. But what I do that defines me. By the time Bruce puts on the mask and cape, he's Batman. He's a different character, the one that we know and love from the source material. Until this point, he's not. He's just kind of just a confused guy. But we get to see him transform into Batman. And it feels like it was earned. If Bruce was just fumbling around as Batman trying to kill the man that murdered his parents because he thought he was doing the world a favor, well, that just wouldn't make sense. It makes sense for Bruce Wayne's story arc in the first act of the film, but as Batman, that would just feel so off. But Bruce doesn't become Batman until he realizes that justice is about much more than revenge. He understands this as the film goes on. He understands that justice is about logically doing the right thing and acting outside of instinct and emotion. And this is the reason Batman struggles to kill Joker by the second film. The Bruce Wayne that we know from the beginning of Batman Begins would have just probably shot the Joker and that would have been that. But that's not what Batman does. And we understand this because of Bruce's character development in Batman Begins. What I also like about Bruce's character development is that his struggles are far more mental than they are physical. His physical challenges aren't really that demanding. Climbing the top of the mountain to train with Ducard was pretty easy. He struggles a bit to get up there, but he fights through. His greater challenge, though, is to figure out how to use his physicality for the greater good. A mental struggle, and I love this. To me, watching Bruce do push-ups and fight with a sword is far less interesting than watching him repeat the important lessons he's learned throughout the film. In Batman Begins, Bruce takes advice from people around him, such as Rachel and Alfred. And again, he listens to it, and it completely changes who he is as a person and what he's fighting for. 
But after this, Bruce is way more strong-willed, which I really like. I like that we get to see Bruce become more confident because Batman Begins shapes him into a confident man and superhero. And because the character development of Bruce in Batman Begins is so great, this leaves room for the script to breathe by the second and third films. And because of this, we get to experience one of the best villain arcs of all time. And that's Heath Ledger's Joker, who I'll definitely be diving into in my next video. The bats again. You know why they attacked you, don't you? They were afraid of you. Afraid of you? All creatures feel fear. You feel the scary ones. Especially the scary ones. It's not who you are underneath. It's what you do that defines you. It was my fault. I made you beat the thing. It was nothing that you did. Reality and deception are powerful agents. You must become more than just a man.